Hey guys, welcome to the Rails News Blog. Today we're going to talk about different prepaid carriers and also we're going to rate them. Um, I want to make this simple and short. I'm going to try to. I'm going to get in full in depth with each carrier um, and I'm also going to rate them <clears throat> from being 20 the highest and 0 the lowest. The way I'm going to rate each carrier, each the way I'm going to rate each carrier is coverage, which is basically in my area in Alabama as five the highest phone varieties which means which kind of phones they have do they have really good phones or do they have kind of poor phones they have a good selection of phones which is going to be five customer service I have called each carrier when I was actually trying to buy um get a new carrier and um I have called each carrier and tried to talk to them whatever because I, I was actually trying to change out a phone or whatever and try to see what service they was about um the rating I've got from them and also the plan varieties when I get very really close with the plans because a lot of people have troubles with the plans okay so let's get started first we have AT&T now let me get my computer up here and see if we can do this alright first we have AT&T now AT&T prepay is actually interesting some things do not tell you there's some things they do not tell you in the um in the plans here I have each site looked up, and I'm sorry I did not tell you them, them, um, these carriers. The carriers are following AT&T Prepay, which is GoPhone, Cricket Mobile, T-Mobile, Metro PCS, and Simple Mobile. All these phone, all of these, except for Cricket and Metro PCS, are GSM carriers. We also don't talk about unlocking your phone. So if you're not, if you haven't, if you need to know some information about unlocking your device. I want to help you out. If you have an iPhone, I'm also going to help you out. So we're going to talk about that towards the end of the video. So just stick with me here. Okay, so first we have AT&T. Now AT&T has very, a variety of plans, but not so many. Um, so as I'm going to rate them, as I look at their plans for prepaid, they really don't have that many. They have five. And the five are really kind of just kind of poor, if you ask me. Um, it, it's just really poor. Um, first, I want to talk about the coverage first. Coverage is um, from my area, from what I, what I, from what I've been, and I had AT and T for almost six years, six or seven years. The coverage is about four. Um, it's a really, they have a really good stable coverage, um, which is really good. Now, on the other hand, phone varieties is really important, and they have great phones. You, can, if I go on eBay and type in AT and T phones, you will see a variety of phones, which is excellent. Um, I want to say everything's good, but they have a good variety of phones. So that will also be a four for my personal ratings. They have over, I think, a hundred phones, especially a hundred smartphones. Also, they have a good variety of phones. Customer service is actually one of the best I've ever been to. Uh, I'll also get that into the four. Uh, customer service has been exceptionally well dealing with all my situations and all my needs. Um, I really haven't had too many that was kind of short with me or whatever. As being with them for about four, I mean about for um five or six years, I have been pleased with the customer service. But on the other hand, their plan varieties for prepaid service not so well. Uh, their prepaid service is awful, and I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm gonna make that a two. So right now we have four, 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 um, two. So that's hold on one second. <laughs> So right now they have a 14 rating for my personal views, um, a 14 out of 20. So, okay, so they have a 14 out of 20 for what I'm telling you. And then let me tell you about the plans real quick. Now, first off, you have the 10 cent minute plan, which includes 10 cents a minute from talking. Also, you have um, with that 10 cent minute plan, you have 20 cents per message. And 25 cent per picture message, um, and that really is a a, a, a hogger. So I'm not going to get into it. And you also get five, uh, will be one cent per five kilobytes, which is not good. <laughs> um, and I'm going to really get to the the basic plan. I mean, the plan is pre people probably going to get. So on another plan they have is 25 dollars a month, which include and includes 250 minutes and unlimited text with um, one cent per 
five kilobytes. So that's kind of still up there and high. Um, but they also have an all unlimited plan, which is fifty dollars unlimited everything, unlimited text, talking way up. But we're gonna have to talk to you about that. Um, so that that's really great, and I know a lot, a lot of carriers have been pushing this out, and I think every carrier I'm gonna talk talk about has been pushing this fifty dollar or forty five dollar plan. But the thing they do not tell you is not including with a smartphone. If you have a smartphone, that does not include you. What does include you is the sixty five dollar smartphone monthly plan with data. Now, as again, AT and T has not learned a lesson. This unlimited takes and talk with one gig of web. Now, one gig of web is about one movie from Netflix. It maybe get on Facebook about 15 days on the average surfing. That's not good at all. And their plans that that that's really that that has to be the worst plans I have seen this whole time. Um, except for cricket, cricket also has some bad plans. But anyway, um. So basically, um, what I'm saying is that their plans are not so good. And if you want to go to their website, you can go to gophone.com. It's G-O-P-H-O-N-E.com. Um, and their phones have a good variety of phones, but their plans are just awful. And I, I'm also pushing this out because I know Black Friday is Friday. And uh, I know shopping, a lot of people are going to be shopping. So I'm pushing this out. Now, what about um, people have asked me, what happens if you have a T-Mobile phone you want to switch to them? Well, you can always get your phone unlocked. And I'm going to give you a site. And it's called unlockthatphone.com. So let's see. Let me write it down. Give me one second. And my handwriting is not the best because I'm writing on a towel. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can see this here. All right. Unlock that phone.com. What you do is when you go to the site, you will go to the site and it will give you a a couple of information. When you get them a couple of information about your phone, you will put what carrier is locked to, which if it's locked to T-Mobile, you want to get it unlocked to AT&T, let's put locked to T-Mobile. Then you put the phone, not me, the phone um the phone's information like what phone you have. Then you enter the IMEI number. Now, if you want to find that out, it's very simple. What you need to go into, let me get my phone out so I can make sure I'm correct. You need to go into your phone. Just like, just go into your phone. Basically, like this. I have an Android. Go into your phone and type in star zero six. Hmm, wait a minute. Okay, so my, my bad. It's star pound. So you see that? Star pound. Zero six star pound zero six then pound when that pop up an IEMEI number will come up you put the information in and you press them in now most phones are around fifteen dollars to unlock it now what does unlocking mean unlock basically means using your phone on basically GSM carriers such as T-Mobile um, Simple Mobile AT and T <sighs> That's really a, really all I know around here in Birmingham, in Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama. But I'm pretty sure some more other ones. So you can use your care your phone in that network. All right, so yeah, so you can go on your phone, go to that site, enter the information. It'll be like less than about one hour. It's about fifteen dollars for a good device. Um, for a, a simple device, is Pantech, Samsung. Samsung might take about twelve hours to put for them to finish and give you the code. Now it will tell you instructions how to get the phone unlocked once it's done. Um once they're finished with it. They will give you instructions. That's why I chose that site because that site is really trustworthy and I have some good experience with them. Alright, next we have um so AT and T have give you a full depth for them, which I told you they rated a fourteen out of twenty for me. Really not good service. I um, mean not really good plans. That's the one thing they're really lacking behind. If they Boost them plans up to um, affordable and common sense plans. I think AT and T can make it, but as of right now, they're just not doing it. All right, so next we have in Cricket Mobile. Now Cricket Mobile does get good service. I've heard. I have talked to the customer service. But I'm going to tell you some things about them. All right, so Cricket Mobile, um, first of all, has a variety of plans, which I'll get to in a second. 
But first of all, they have for um their coverage. Their coverage is decent. And I have had friends that have Cricket Mobile, and their coverage is really kind of spotty. Here in Birmingham, Alabama, it's kind of spotty. It depends where you at. So I give them a three out of five. I mean, a three out of five for coverage, because their coverage is not so great. Now from Verizon, now their phones are really kind of been, blah. Um, they have okay phones, but also they have a lot of generic phones. Um, they don't they don't have too many good. Um, they don't have a lot of name brand phones. Um, they have a lot of ZTEs and Hawaii's. I think that's how you say it. Hawaii, yeah. They also have some Samsungs, but their phones are decent. Now, let me tell you about the phones. Um, they have an okay variety of phones. They have about one, two, three, four, five, six, about six Android phones and four basic phones. Um, and I'll probably give that a three for phone variety because they're that's not so good, but that's decent. So they have six um, Android smartphones and four basic phones. Now customer service, I've tried to call them and I was unable to get through. And um, I went through when they chat website like when you chat with them, and I did not really good get good service. Um, get, it was basically horrible. Um, the person I was talking to was really rude. Really disrespectful. Just really kind of short for me. The next day I called them. They was really. I waited for like 15 minutes, and they was just really rude when I talked to them. So I'm gonna get them a one. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for saying that, but I'm gonna get them a one out of um five for customer service. They have had no good experience with them at all. Now, plan varieties. Let me talk to you about the plan varieties. Now they have. Um, they really don't have too many unlimited plans. And actually, I don't think they have any at all. Now, for for these, this goes for the basic phones. This does not go for the smartphones. For the basic phones, you have twenty five dollars a month, which includes three hundred minutes of um talking, and unlimited text, picture, um video, and video. Unlimited. That's for messaging. So you can send pictures and videos, unlimited and unlimited web. They also have one for thirty five dollars a month, which is one thousand minutes, um. Um, with unlimited text, picture, and web sending messages through MMS, and also unlimited web. They also have something called Move, Muve, M U V E, Muve <laughs> um, music plan, <clears throat> and that is unlimited music and entertainment. And it's also $45 a month <clears throat> with 1,000 minutes of um, talking, and again, unlimited text and MMS, and also unlimited data. <clears throat> But that's just for the four basic phones they have. So honestly, that's not the best. Um, that's not the best plans they have. Now they have a different plans. That's for the basic plans for the basic phones. They have their own plans. Now they have their own Android plans also. Here I'm looking at fifty dollars a month for. <clears throat> um, I'm looking at fifty dollars a month for. Um, Let's see here. Fifty dollars a month for unlimited talk, um, web. I mean, unlimited talk and text with one gig of web, um, which is not so decent. It's not so good. It's it, it is beating AT and T because AT and T is sixty five dollars for one gig, but it's still not good. Um, and that's kind of sluggish. Um, so that's not really good. Now they also have another for sixty dollars. Uh, a month for I learned that everything is self way up and way up is 2.5 gigs that's decent but that's still not good um, but I will say that's decent because AT&T is $65 for one gig and Cricket is $60 for um, it's $60 for 2.5 gigs of way up um, and that's what full speed so we're also going to talk about throttling and um, First four, first um, 100 gig, uh, megabytes at first 100 megabytes at um, 4 GB. We're gonna talk about that too. Also, because a lot of people don't understand about that, and I want to help you understand about that also. So, with their plans, I'm gonna give them a, 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 a three out of um, a three out of five because their plans are not the greatest, but also they are they're they're workable. They're workable with. So, in total, for my my personal review. 
they have a 10, they have a 3 for um, coverage, they have a 3 for phone varieties, they have a 1 for customer service, and they have a 3 for um, plan, vari I mean, plan varieties. That would be a 10 out of 20. So, that's decent. Um, and also, if you want to go to their website, it's called mycricket.com. Let me write that down for you guys. So if you guys can see that right there. Mycricket.com. You go to their plans and see what you see what they got. Um <clears throat> so next we're talking about just see T Mobile. Now <laughs> um T Mobile, I'm I'm actually gonna get to I'm gonna get to T Mobile last. So we're we're gonna skip T Mobile, I'm gonna get T Mobile last, I'll tell you why. So um next we're gonna talk about Metro PCS. Um, here in Birmingham, where I live, we don't talk about Metro PCS too much because it's not really popular, but they do have some very good um, plans, if I look at it. So, <coughs> Metro PCS has very different plans. Plans They have a good variety of phones. Um, let me go into their phones and see what kind of phones they do have. Just give me one second. Okay. So, I'm going to talk about the coverage first. The coverage in Birmingham or in basically Alabama will be a three out of five. Um, I have not heard too many bad complaints about it, but I have heard some kind of well, some okay complaints about their things. Now looking at their phones, they do have a lot of phones. They have the Galaxy S3 for four hundred dollars. That's actually pretty good. A ZTE Anthem 4G for two hundred. LG Motion 4G for one hundred and fifty. Also, that's actually pretty good, and their phones are very, um, very price range. I mean, price rangey. They had a Samsung Galaxy Anton. It's A T T A I N. I don't know how to pronounce that. For a hundred dollars, um, this is not. This was this was without contract. Um, HTC Wildfire for one thirty. Their phones are actually pretty cheap for the for the price they're giving. I want to give their phones a four, a phone variety of four. Out of five, because their phone varieties are actually pretty price rangey, and they have pretty a, a good amount of them. As I'm looking here, now this is when we talk about throttling and first five gigs or first how many megabytes at 4G. We're gonna talk about this. So here I'm looking at their, their plans. Now their plans that um have actually um sorry about this guys. Hold on a second. <laughs> now I'm looking at forty dollars a month for LGE. Me, 4G LTE. Now it's unlimited talk, text, and data. For first, 250 megabytes at 4G speeds. Now, what does this mean? And a lot of people have heard about this. I've heard about it. Was confused. I'm going to share my knowledge on to you. Now, basically, when you, you when you use 250 megabytes of this data, what it means for you is once you use the first 250 megabytes. Now, it don't matter if your phone is 3G or 4G. Still, if you first, if you still use that 250 megabytes of data, it will going to it's going to send you to the edge network, which is the slowest network network of all. So, if you used all your 250 megabytes, even though your data is unlimited, if you use 250 megabytes, it's going to slow your connection down, and that's what it means. Throttle is basically called throttle. T-Mobile is called throttle. I'm gonna get to T-Mobile last. Um, now. They do have everything unlimited for forty dollars itself for the first two hundred fifty dollars, I mean two hundred fifty megabytes of four G speeds. After that two hundred fifty megabytes is gone, if you use that up, it's, it slows down to two G speeds, which is the edge network. Now they also have um one for fifty dollars, um LTE. It was four G LTE, the first two point five gigs of um a data of um of ugh. It's fifty dollars, unlimited everything for first two point five gigs of data at four G, which is actually decent. That's nice, actually. Um, that's actually pretty good if you guys haven't looked at a lot of plans. Like that's actually pretty good. And also, um, for fifty five dollars, they have unlimited data, um, talk and web. Um, and I actually don't see any um. Actually, I think that's it. Might be unlimited everything, unlimited 4G, because I don't see any other things about it. Um, 
So I think it's fifty five. It's fifty five dollars for unlimited four G and unlimited everything. Um, now they have also um, unlimited four G everything. First five gigs at four G speeds with, with Rap City. Um, now we go to the basic plans, which is forty dollars everything unlimited with um this 3G speed so it doesn't matter how many 3G how much 3G you use it really doesn't matter um first 45 me uh, 45 dollars first everything is unlimited um per month with 3G this also includes unlimited metro 411 premium direct assistance and international texting um <clears throat> and everything unlimited um Everything unlimited for fifty dollars plus uh, unlimited picture messaging, Metro way up and more. Um, that's for three G unlimited. Um, everything for sixty dollars for the BlackBerry, which is actually pretty good for sixty dollars for BlackBerry unlimited everything for three G. That's actually pretty good. Um, so as I see here, look at this plan. Their plan, their plans are actually pretty decent. Now, if you want to go to their website, it's um. I don't know if you can see that. Let me make my, my super correct. Look at this. I'm sorry for the bad handwriting right now. MetroPCS.com. So for their their um the customer service has been okay. I'll give them a three out of um a three day. I haven't heard. I well, I haven't been able to. Um, I have talked to them, but I haven't talked to them long. So I'll give them a three out of five from my my personal experience. And um. <clears throat> Their plans, I think this is far more, far, far the best plans I've ever seen um, yet. So, um, Metro PCS actually has just changed my mind a little bit on changing carriers because actually that's some really good deals. Um, so, when I calculate all this together, that'll be a six, that'll be a nine. Okay, so Metro PCS, from my personal views, come out of 15. Out of 20, which is actually higher than AT&T, because AT&T has 14 out of 20. So there we go. So Metro PCS, look at Metro PCS. They have some good phones and actually some good variety of um plans also. Don't know about coverage so much in customer service. Okay. Now we're looking at Simple Mobile. Now a lot of people heard of Simple Mobile, right? Well, Simple Mobile is actually interesting. Simple Mobile is basically using your sim card they don't really have a phone they don't really have a they really don't have a phone they they they're, they're kind of weird but it's it's basically simple you use your sim card you pay for how much you um, how much the plans are I don't tell you about the plans in a second and um and that's basically it so you you pay for a sim card if your phone is unlocked and once at the end of the video I'm gonna tell you how you get your phone unlocked and I'm gonna make sure how many minutes I'm using I'm using 23 minutes I hope this go on YouTube <laughs> um so basically it depends on how many minutes you're using <coughs> okay so first of all you have let me tell you the plans it's forty dollars unlimited text talk on web at 2g speeds fifty dollars unlimited text um, talk web unlimited everything at 3g speeds sixty dollars unlimited everything at 4g speeds fifty dollars unlimited everything for blackberry at 3g speeds sixty dollars unlimited everything uh, for BlackBerry at 4G speeds, that actually is pretty good. Um, and because they really don't, they don't have phones. They don't, I, I haven't called the customer service. I don't know anything about it. Um, because um, I can't really rate them on everything. Um, hmm. um, the plans are actually pretty decent and pretty good for unlimited everything for forty dollars and unlimited everything for fifty dollars. That includes 3G. Um, 3 speed, 3D speeds, and they, they don't throttle you. It's only everything for that month with 3G speeds, and it doesn't matter how many gigs of 3G you use or any, how many gigs 4G you use. They don't really do that. They just straightforward. And actually, it's really pretty decent and really good. So as we sit here, look at that. Um, because I can't rate them because the plan varieties, the plan varieties would be actually be a five. Um, because the amount of money I'm paying now, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you about that later. Um. When I get to T-Mobile, because I'm with T-Mobile, when I tell you about my T-Mobile experience, the plan I went now, that's actually pretty decent. 
So because I can't really give them a you know a, 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 a clear thing, and I'm gonna check the coverage. I'm gonna go to the website and check the coverage. Let me just check that for you guys real quick. Um, because I can give you a coverage wise by looking at a map and looking here in Alabama where I live. So give me a second. Um. <laughs> And if you're wondering, um, yes, you, if you have an unlocked phone, which I will tell you how, how your phone is unlocked and how to unlock your phone later, towards the end of the video, if you have an unlocked phone, hey, um, you can use your phone on system mobile. Now, let me check that coverage area. So, give me a second. And I can actually just kind of give you an estimate of what my ideal is with their coverage. And actually, this is like, I'll say right now with their, with their plans, Metro PCS and Simple mode was right there on top of me. I, I mean, I'm really liking that coverage. Um, so looking at that coverage map, and this on um, world, I mean U.S. United States wide. Um, towards the north. Um, let me second. Towards the north, um, they're really kind of suckish. Towards the north, the northwest, um, they're really kind of they don't really have that much good service. And towards the north middle of the United States, they don't have too many coverage. Here in Birmingham, they have, when I'm looking at decent coverage, let me here, click here to Birmingham. So I, I really can't get them an S. I can't give you an estimate because I haven't had anybody that has Super Mobile. By looking at what I'm looking at, I'll rate them a 3 out of 5 because they got some coverage. They actually got some more coverage than, um, they got more coverage than some other carriers I have. Uh, I think they might even have more coverage than T Mobile from what I'm looking at. From, from my Birmingham, and actually, I'm gonna say this my views come from where I live at, so my views might be completely different where you live at. You might have a different customer service agent, um, you might have different coverage area, you're, um, there might be different plans where you live at. So, here in Alabama, this is our towards the south, this is where I'm coming from. Um, so, their, their coverage is actually pretty decent. I'm just gonna get them a a 3.5. I can't really rate them that much. So um, for plans, my pants went out. No, okay. For plans, I'm actually gonna get them a five and a 3.5 for. What you call it? A 3.5 for. <coughs> what you call it? A 3.5 for coverage. Now, because I'm missing two things, which is customer service, because I haven't never called them, and also phone varieties. We're just going to have to tie this by two. So five plus. I really don't feel like calculating anything right now. So an average they have a 17 because they never. So a 17 out of 20, which is actually leading right now. Um. So for my for my personal views, they have a 17 now. Last but not least, well, yeah, not it is least. Lastly, we have T-Mobile. Um, in T-Mobile. I'm going to give you my, uh, this might be longer, um, so, T-Mobile, I have got T-Mobile a while ago, I was switching from AT&T, and, um, for, from contract service, and I went to T-Mobile, I have bought a SIM card online, you can buy a SIM card, you have to go to, um, pre, um, T-Mobile, just go type in Google, just type in T-Mobile prepaid, um, and it should link, link you up to a link where, let's say, monthly 4G. I bought a SIM card because I have an AT&T device, if you may tell. Let's see if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, yeah. So I have a T-Mobile device. I have an AT&T device. I unlock my phone from unlockthatphone.com. Yeah, unlockthatphone.com. It was like $14. I unlocked it. It works well. I put my micro SIM card in. You can buy, you have two options. You have a micro SIM card for a dollar. And it's like a dollar and ten at max with tax and whatever. Shipping is free and everything. It comes to, it comes to your house about two days. So it's actually pretty um, good. Um, you can use a micro SIM or a regular SIM. Just select which one you want. Um, I actually ported my number over from AT&T very easy through the um, activation process. Um, when you activate a phone, new T-Mobile is really, it's really swell, really decent, really good. Um, so I really liked it. Now, this is the problem I had with T-Mobile. And I'm going to tell you from my customer, from my, from my experience, um, what I rate T-Mobile since I'm since I do have it, I'm gonna rate T-Mobile on my because I'm I know T-Mobile really well because I had them now. So on coverage, I'll get them a I'll 
I give him a 3.5 out of cover on coverage. The coverage is not so well. AT&T has done much better in coverage um, than T-Mobile because in some areas I cannot get any service. And with AT&T, I was right there at five bars. Sometimes I'm like, okay, one bar T-Mobile. So I give him a 3.5. Um, phone varieties. Now, <clears throat> their phone varieties are kind of complicated. Um, on their monthly 4G, when I go to the website, they don't have too many good phones. Um, and the prices are outrageous expensive. So on their on their on their phones, I'm just gonna give them a two. It is really bad on their phones. Customer service is awful. I have never seen any seen or talked to any customer service as awful as T-Mobile. Um, and I'm sorry, T-Mobile, but I, I like it, but you have really customer service has to step up with T-Mobile because I have been on the phone on hold for about 20 minutes. Have got short, you know, people have got short with me. Um, you know, it, it's just this, it, it, it's awful customer service. And if you look at reviews, you will see that their customer service are awful. And um, I'm gonna get them a two out on customer service. Now, plan varieties. Now, I do have a list of plans, and I know you guys want to hear about the plans, so I'm gonna go to the plans. Um, their plans are very unique. Excuse me. Their plans are very unique, and I'm gonna tell you the plan I have, and let me tell you my reviews about it. So first, I'm just going to go to the basic plans. The plans I probably know people are probably going to get because that pay as you go plan is probably going to rule it out pretty soon, probably in the next year or so, because that pay as you go not too many people use unless you're old or whatever. <laughs> not calling anybody old, but um, they have 1,500 uh, talk and text for thirty dollars with 30, 30 megabytes of data. Um, so you can use any combination of text or talk. And I don't know their their rates of it's not showing it's not showing their rates or whatever for text to talk. Um, the plan I have is unlimited way up and takes 100 minutes of talk, um, which is actually pretty decent because it, it fits my budget really well. But it's still not the best. Um, if they can you know move the talk time a little bit more up, like maybe to 150, maybe even 200 for around 35, that would have been awesome. But I'm not really getting into it. Um, so that's that's decent. Um, now this is also a Metro PCS with the throttling. Uh, Fifty dollars unlimited everything at first one hundred megabytes of four G. Now even if you don't have a four G device, if you have a three G device, you use that first mega mega first one hundred megabytes up. It goes to two G. So that's kind of awful. So even if you have this have if you have the iPhone, you have it unlocked. Well, actually, I have to tell you about the iPhone. I, I got to tell you guys about. What T-Mobile has done and whatever. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second because you're actually not gonna be able to use the 3G or 4G network with a uh, lot device with T-Mobile. <clears throat> they have unlimited everything um, for sixty dollars for the first two gigs at 4G speeds, which is decent. Now I like I like this plan. If I had enough money, I can probably get this plan. Unlimited everything for seventy dollars for first five gigs at 4G. So that's really pretty, pretty decent. I, you know, that's pretty decent uh, for what I'm looking at. So they plan varieties. I'll get them a. I get them a 3.5 out of plans. Um, the plan's not the best. Now let me tell you guys about my experience with T-Mobile real quick. So I have talked to many um, agents before, and I have, like, you know, have asked them, okay, hey guys, you know, what, what's, what's up? With, you know, can I be able to use my 4G? Because my phone is HSPA Plus device, you know, it's HSPA the Plus device. They're like, yeah, yeah, you can use your 4G. You know, you can use your 4G. That's great. You know, first five gigs is I have the thirty dollar first um for thirty dollars unlimited text and way of one hundred minutes to talk. First five gigs at four. Me first five gigs. Well, yeah, first five gigs at 4G. So like, yeah, you be able to use all that. That's really good. I'm like, okay. So I activated my phone and I was actually stuck on this little symbol right here. And so some techie people, they might this might be one of the worst symbols ever. Um, so I was stuck at the Edge Network, trying to tweak my phone around. As I was found out I was unable to change that. Um, sooner or later I found out that if you have an off device with T-Mobile, you're going to be stuck at the Edge Network unless they um recalibrated your device or well, recalibrated the towers, not your device. So that's that was really unfortunate for me. Um. So I'm, I, I am stuck at the 2G network, which is, I mean, I get the awful slow speeds. The speeds are so slow, I, I can't even load a YouTube video up. Um, the YouTube application just sits there and stalls. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, in, 
and sometimes you just sit there and close the app because it was it was just time out. Um, so that was really unfortunate. But the plan, I had to get it. I had to get something, so it it, it was decent. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> T-Mobile, they there I have them because they're cheaper, and they was able to use my device. But then again, the the, the phone, I mean the plan itself was not that um that not that great. <clears throat> So I'm gonna tally up all the um, all the scores and whatever I'm gonna tell you about unlocking your phone, unlocking your iPhone, and when they get ready to go. So give me one one second. Okay. So I, again, you remember I said that my the highest is 20. <clears throat> um. So we have let me calculate all this. We have. Give me a second while I sit here and mark all of them. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so <clears throat> for number one, my top um, cell phone carrier was Simple Mobile. For coverage, um, for the plans, and that's basically it. I kind of talk about customer service or whatever. Um, so number two was um, Metro PCS, which I actually really like their plans. So if I sit there and look at it, the plans are pretty decent. I like that. Um, they had a good variety of phones. It, it, was, it was I like the plans. So I, I might look at Metro PCS myself. Uh, number three was, of course, AT&T. Um, as I said, that the um, the coverage was pretty good. The phone variety was okay. Customer service was really good, and the plan varieties were actually kind of poor. Um, number four came at T-Mobile, which is eleven out of twenty. Um, as I as I did, and I said that the coverage was okay. It was not the best. Um, Phone varieties was actually kind of poor and really outdated and expensive. Um, customer service was kind of terrible, not really good, and plan variety was okay, marginal. Um, so that was okay. And number five, Cricket Mobile, which I wouldn't think it was going to. I, I, did, I, did, I thought Cricket Mobile was actually going to be above that rate. Um, the coverage was decent, which was a three out of five. Um, their phone varieties were okay. They had a okay set of varieties, but not really good. The customer service is poor. Yeah, worse than T-Mobile, believe it or not. Um, and their plan varieties were good. Um, I rate that at a five. Um, the reason I say that is because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I rate that at a three. My bad. Uh, the reason I say that because their plans with T-Mobile, me with uh, not T-Mobile, their plans with Android was not so great. Um, so, you know, you know, um, okay, so last but not least, and I've told you all my, my top carriers, and I told you the experiences, the plans, and I hope this has helped you out, I know Black Friday is coming up, so I know a lot of people want to like, you know, look at different plans or whatever, hopefully this video has helped you out, and this video is about 40 minutes, and I'm about to make it about 45 minutes, um, so we better be done in a couple minutes, alright, so last but not least, I want to talk to you about Unlocking your device. A lot of people have problems with unlocking their device and don't trust it. The site I have gave you, which is up here, unlockthatphone.com. I, from, from just being a customer of them, I have a good, had some good experience with them, so I had no problems with that. Um, so that's that's been really good. Um, they've been they've been they've been pretty good. They, they was accurate. They was fast. They was on time. Everything went well. Now. I had to find a website. It's it's a website for the iPhone, and honestly, unlock that phone was actually a little more expensive, and it actually took well actually unlock that phone was cheaper, but it took about I think two to three days for the phone to be unlocked um for them. So if you want something a little faster, it's something called um, uh, um ultimate. Let me see. Give me a second, guys. <sighs> So this is the site right here.
and it's called ultimate iPhone Unlocker.com. Don't know if you can read my hand right again. I'm writing on a towel, so it's really kind of hard for me to write. Ultimate iPhone Unlocker.com. It's for twenty dollars, and it unlocks less than five minutes. So if you want, if you want time, uh, if you want time to be like this, it's twenty dollars. If you want to do it online, and unlock that phone.com, it's fifteen dollars. About two to three days. It's your choice. Five dollars difference. I'll probably pick the five dollar difference due to ultimate iPhone or locker.com. So guys, hopefully this has helped you out. I have did I have done varieties of um <clears throat> varieties variety of different carriers, different phones. Um I think my 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 skill was pretty average and decent. Um and as again if you want to hear that these these carriers one more time um, and number one being the highest, number five being the lowest. Again, here they go. Simple Mobile came as number one. Um, Metro PCS came as number two. So, um, number one was Simple Mobile. Metro PCS was number two. Uh, number three um, was AT and T. Number four was T Mobile, and number five was Cricket. Cricket Wireless. Um. So, guys, hopefully this helped you out. Pick some phones, go into websites, and uh, if you need the websites again for Cricket Wireless, I mean for um, Simple Mobile, just go to simplemobile.com. That's the website for them. Um, Metro PCS, MetroPCS.com, and that's PCS, MetroPCS.com. Um, AT&T, you just can go to GoPhone.com, G-O-P-H-O-N-E.com. Um, T-Mobile, go to just type in Google and type in prepaid T-Mobile, a monthly 4G T-Mobile. Just type that in Google and you find a website, one of the first or two links out there. And for Cricket, go to cricketwireless.com. And there you go. So guys, hopefully this guys this has helped you out. Um, my first my my from rating, I think Simple Mobile has the best plans. Um, remember I told you if you have T-Mobile and using an AT and AT and T device, you're gonna be stuck in the edge network. Plans really does, you know, it's, it's confusing, but you have to figure out which one is best for you. I would stay away from the ones that throttle you, such as Metro PCS, even though it came out as number two, and also um, T-Mobile, which actually came out at number four. Be careful about the ones that throttle you, because if you use too much data, you can be stuck on a slow network. I chose Metro PCS because Metro PCS actually has you can use your own SIM card. I mean, you, you can use your own phone. It was unlocked, and actually, they don't throttle you. They really don't. And I, I like that. And for forty dollars a month for, um, let me see, forty dollars a month for their plan. That's actually pretty good. Um, for forty dollars a month, unlimited everything, three G. That's pretty good. So guys, hopefully this guys has helped you out. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Um. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'm gonna do more videos lately. This is um, officially my longest video I've ever made. Yeah, I, the longest video I've made last time was on the iPhone 3GS on iOS 6. This is the longest video I have made, with 43 minutes. So I'm about to be 44 minutes. So hey, congratulations to me. Thanks for watching Darrell's News Blog, and have a great day. Bye.